So today we are going to be talking a little bit about using the desktop, especially in Catalina, because there was some changes that happened in Catalina that could change a lot of the way that you and I actually use the desktop. So a lot of people have probably seen desktops that look like this, but really your desktop should, at the best of times, look kind of like mine does now, which is completely empty. Because one of the things that you and I need to realize is that really the more icons that are physically sitting on the desktop, the harder it is for your computer to work to be able to display those. So keeping your desktop clean is gonna make the performance of your computer better. Plus just the ability for it to be better organized. Now a few things on your desktop, here's my desktop right here. Customizing it can be nice and simple, of course. Your ability to right click or secondary click on a Mac is important. So if you do that on your desktop, for instance, number one, a few things is that you can create folders. So folders can be created on your desktop. You'll see new folder right here, which allows me to create a folder. You can also, when you're on your desktop, go up to your menu bar and you'll see under file, it actually says new, new folder. There it is. So I have a folder one, folder two. Let's click on these. Now, what you'll see is before I clicked on them, I'll make one more for you guys. New folder. Before you do anything, hands off the keyboard, hands off your trackpad, you'll see right now that this naming convention or naming of the folder is in an edit mode. So before you do anything, give this a title. Learn to Mac. And then hit your return button and it allows you to rename that folder that you created. Now, if the folder has been created already like these and you want to rename them, simply you can click on it once and then click again slowly just on the name and you'll see it go into that light blue color where you can change it. So I'll call this tutorials. Now over here with this one, we can do it a little differently. And if we right click, you'll actually, or secondary click, however you want to call it, you'll actually see that option again for rename. And you can do that there. Or if you have this highlighted, so you click on it once and you hit your return key on your keyboard, it'll go into rename mode. So I'll call this sample. Samples, sure, that's nice. Okay, so we got all these sitting here. And what a lot of times happens, of course, is that you and I start creating this mess on our desktop. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to skip forward and I'm gonna grab some photos off the internet just so you can see what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna just grab some. Cool, there's some images. Any documents on here? No, nope. but I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna create a couple little documents here. I'm gonna open up pages. Blah, blah, blah. File, save. Desktop, because why would we not put it on the desktop? And we're nicely going to call it untitled. I'm going to create another one. New. And save as well. And I just quit pages by hitting Command Q. Command Q allows us to quit our software, so that's a great one to remember. Now, we're starting to see our desktop become a bit of a mess, like a lot of people have this. So a few things that you can do to help organize your desktop. Number one, and this is a feature that has been around for a while. Again, if you right click or secondary click on your desktop, I'm gonna use my trackpad here, and you will see this thing called sort by. Now, number one is, this is this is a big one actually. We can have them snap to grid. You'll notice then that once it's snapped to grid, see how they automatically move to these, where these imaginary grid points would be. If I let go here, it actually slides over, which makes all your icons line up really nicely. So if I wanted this to line up with that, nope, push it over a bit more. Nope, still not there. Oh, that one mustn't be aligned, so I'll push that one there. There we go, this one there. And you'll see that they start to align to this grid. You may want that just so that everything's at least organized in a nice grid pattern on your desktop, which is cool. But I'm gonna 
go down here and you can continue and this is the one I like actually but you can actually have these organized by name so you'll see them automatically organized based on the grid alphabetical cool great for those of us that know the name of our folder or documents you can also come here and just change this whenever you feel like it I can be like kind and you know oh, these ones are all the same kinds it doesn't matter you can sort by date created and you'll see these change because these were the last ones that I created followed by these followed by these and the nice thing is is that you and I can play around with this and just reorganize them on the fly next thing to remember is that the computer doesn't forget how they were organized previously so if I come in here and go to that sort by and hit none you'll see they all fly back out the way they were previous to me organizing them which is great no harm no foul they completely go back to the way I had them so this is a nice feature to be able to change on the fly now the last one that's been implemented in Catalina is this one which I love which is use stacks and stacks allows us to really lower the amount of actual icons that are on our desktop and this will drastically improve for one performance of your computer because of the fact that there's less icons actually on the desktop so before we hit this if you look at it you know there's some folders there's like four images a couple of these documents if I click here and go use stacks what happens is you'll see that they congregate into groups so folders will always stay folders so if you have a thousand folders that's not going to help you much but you'll notice that images here have actually grouped into this little image stack which is fantastic documents fell into this document stack and we are able to organize the stacks again by kind date last open date added date modified date created so really nice if I know that it was something that I just created I could click these and you'll see that they actually change this is actually called today you may have a stack called last week February etc etc and again you and I can constantly flip these around to whatever is best suited for the way we are going to find that file and when we're done if we don't want it we can just turn this off and they will go right back to the way they were there you go guys that's a quick look at some of the organizational abilities for those of us that like to use the desktop to store now I will say try to get in the habit of not using the desktop for all your files and folders we do have a lovely documents folder right here which is where our documents should go this is our filing cabinet so they should come off the desktop and come into here we also have the photo software for where our photos should go and we have the music software for where our music should go etc etc try to get in the habit of organizing your documents into the proper places but until that happens using the desktop and being able to organize it and keep it clean can be really useful all right guys i'm going to leave you there this was a little bit on how to customize and organize your desktop and we will see you again in the next video later